Hello, good morning and namaste to you all. It's me Anita Achare from Bishwajyoti Boarding School and our school is situated in Deathsuli 15, Pargati Nagar. I am a math teacher of grade 5 and due to the this critical situation our all schools and colleges are totally closed so we teachers and our school is going to conduct one online program for our students who are staying at home for a long period of time i request my students that you can see and you can listen this video from happy fm 103.8 megahertz youtube channel and our visual the phase. I request my uh, parents also to take positive and uh, support your children to continue their study at home as well. As a math teacher today I am here to teach class 5 students. Class 5 students I am going to discuss about geometry. I hope you are very familiar with the word geometry in your junior classes. And the before we start our exercise I would like to discuss about basic knowledge of geometry. Some basic I think my students they use in their daily life that geometry box. Inside the geometry box there are different materials, different shapes. And when we are talk about when we are, when we are talking about shapes, lines, angles, all comes under geometry and now without doing late without doing delay I am going to start my lesson at first the first topic is point point when you make the dot it makes a point point it is very easy I have given here num name a this is called point A. That means we can easily understand point. It is a dot. The next number is line segment. We, we are going to discuss your three types of lines. They are line segment, line, straight line and ray. At first, I am going to discuss about line segment. Line segment means you are clear by seeing the figure as well. When the beginning or origin point and ending points of the line is fixed. That is the line segment. It may be 5 cm, 6 cm. It cannot be extended. It is a fixed line. That's why it is called line segment. The next one is the line. It is also called state line. State line means the just opposite of line segment. In line segment, there is a fixed point, but in line, there is not a fixed point. It can be extend from both sides. I have given here name A and B, but it is a no, it is not a fixed line. It can be extend. So, it is called line or straight line. My dear students, I think you are very clear about line segment and line. The next topic is ray. Ray means the the origin or beginning point is fixed but ending point never fixed. It can be extend. It is called ray. Very clear example of ray is sun rays. Sun is the fixed point. From the sun different rays comes. This is a ray. It can extend. So it is a ray. I think you are very clear about the four points. They are point, line segment, line or straight line, rays. I have written here some exercise. It also can make you more clear. Please guess and try to give the answer. What is this? Which type of line is this? Can you guess? This, this is a ray. Why? Because the origin point is fixed and ending point is not fixed here. It can be extended. So it is a, it is ray. Next one is you can say yourself it is point. It is very easy. 
and the next one the next one is the line why it is line because both the sides you can see here clearly both the sides beginning or origin point and ending point both point are fixed it cannot be extend it is a fixed line so it is called line the last one can you guess what is this this is this is line this is line yes this is a line because both the ending parts and origin parts here it's not fixed it can be extend so it is called line i think you are very clear about the four things here now i want to say is the topic next the next topic is intersecting line and parallel line intersecting line means when the two lines they cross they meet and they intersect to each other that is intersecting line parallel means when the two lines they never meet and distance between the two lines always remains same that is parallel line you can see the figure here it makes you more clear this is a intersecting this is intersecting line because they intersect in point p this is line 1 and this is line 2 they intersect in point p that's why it is called intersecting line here the first line and second lines they don't meet they don't meet here but it is also intersecting line why because it is a line it can be extend when it extend it may make a common point that's why it is also intersecting line the next one is the clear example it is looks like a parallel line uh, my dear students don't be confused this is not a parallel line it is in an intersecting line why because the distance between two lines here is not same that's why it is also intersecting line the next topic just opposite of parallel line is just opposite of intersecting line is parallel line you can see here i already explained about parallel line parallel means when the two lines they never make common point they never meet when we extend them and the distance between two lines remains same they are parallel lines okay the next one is the curve here curve means you already understand when we draw the line zigzag line it makes curve you can see here curve there are two types of curves they are closed curves and open curves the closed curves closed curve means the curves whose origin and ending point is close to each other they make common point they are closed curves the next one is open curves it is very easy to understand the curves whose origin and ending ending point is not come on they are different they make a little distance here it is a open curves you can see here some example some exercise by seeing these figures you can understood you can guess what is this can you guess what is this what is this this is parallel line because the distance between two lines looks like same here and they never meet to each other and what is this this is intersecting line because it can be extend and it makes a intersect point and this is also intersecting line because the distance between two lines here is not same when it extend it can be make a intersect point and this one it is very clear it is also intersecting line this one is parallel line because the distance between two lines looks same okay i think you are clear about point line segment line ray intersecting line parallel lines and curve now i am going to discuss about the heart of geometry without angles it is not possible of geometry angle is heart of the geometry you can clearly see here when two 
rays have a common point here O. It makes an angle. It is an angle. And in angle, we must know two things. At first, this common point is called vertex. This here, O is a vertex. And side, we can say sides arm as well. Arm and sides are same. Here, O A and O B are sides and arms. The here, here are two points you can see on the picture, on the figure, inside the angles. If the points comes inside the two rays, it is interior point. And when the point comes out of angle, it is exterior point. We can give the angle's name as well. This angle's name is here AOB and BOA. Always vertex always comes in middle of angles. So we are going to discuss here about different types of angle. There are six types of angle, dear students. We are going to discuss about this. Number one, the number one is the acute angle. In her acute angle means, acute means very small. Smallest angle is acute angle. That means those angle whose measurement is less than 90 degree, it is an acute angle. I think you are clear by seeing this figure as well. Next number two is the right angle. Right angle means you are right means correct. Exactly 90 degree is the right angle here. When two rays make a, make a common point straight and make a 90 degree angle that is right angle. And you can see this shape. It is looks like an alphabetical English alphabet letter L. The next one is the obtuse angle. Here obtuse angle means less than 180 and greater than 90 degree. By seeing these figures also you can understand easily that is obtuse angle. The four number is the straight angle. Straight means straight line. Then you can see here is a straight line. Here A O B makes a straight line. So it is exactly 180 degree. The next number second last is the reflex angle. That means reflex means greater than 180 and less than 360 here is the reflex angle here don't be confused my dear students here this outer angle is the reflex angle if you see inner angle you don't be confused it makes acute angle then next last topic is complete angle Complete means complete. You already understood by saying the words. When the angle's measurement is exactly 360, that is a complete angle. Okay, dear students, I hope you understand different types of an angles. Once again, you can repeat this. Acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle and complete angle. Here we are going to discuss some exercise you can practice by seeing this board and the video and you can say you can guess what is this 90 degree that means which angle is this can you guess yes correct you are right this is a right angle because it is exactly 90 degree then this angle 190 degree which angle is this yes it is a 190 means reflex angle because reflex angles means greater than 180 less than 360 you can see here here is 190 that means greater than 180 so that it is called reflex angle likewise you can guess and say the answer yourself and here I have made some figures as well to make you more clear about an angles and see here and this what is this which angle is this 
by seeing figures also you can guess this is an acute angle because the measurement when you measure as well the um, angles always comes less than 90 degree it is an acute angle likewise what is this and which angle is this this is this is obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degree you can practice and you can guess all the answers all the questions yourself at home and next topic we will discuss in next video here is one homework for you all this is a project work please try to complete your homework write the types of different types of angles with the figure with figure in a chart paper you can decorate that chart paper as well thank you students stay home stay safe thank you goodbye